Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, actually, it's my wife's kitchen because I try to spend as little time in here as possible unless I'm eating. Speaking of food, I'm going to use this image here to help demonstrate a concept that has to do with the formation of continents. So the first step in the formation is we have two plates that are moving towards each other. We have a pen and draw that on here. So we've got one plate moving this way and we've got a plate moving this way. And let's just pretend for argument's sake that they're both oceanic plates. That's a pretty bad pen. I should be able to do better than that. There we go. So we get a nice big pen. There's one oceanic plate and there's the other oceanic plate. Now one of them is going to be more dense than the other. And so the more dense plate, hey, this is going to be kind of fun. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, the more dense plate is going to subduct under the less dense plate. And that's going to look something like this. So let's pretend that this plate, which is one of his eyes, uh, is going to subduct under this plate. It's not going to subduct straight in. So when, when the plate starts to actually move into the mantle, the deep mantle, it's not going to descend uh, perpendicular to the surface of the earth. Instead, it's going to cut in at an angle. So let's have a look at that. What that would look like is this. It would slice, I've got to be careful not to hit my finger here. What it would do is actually cut in like this. And so if you look, or if you imagine this, we've got a plate moving along here, plate moving this way, this one subducts, it cuts in just like this knife blade. And if you take a look at what we've got left, it's an island arc. Now the only thing is, of course, if we do a cut like that, we've got to get rid of this and we've got to make it look kind of sad because that would really hurt. Um, and the last step, of course, is to uh, eat the orange. This orange does look rather good. Let's just cut that. Mmm, -hmm, vitamin C.